Hello, Leos. Happy, happy August. All right. So some of you are having birthdays in August, July and August. So happy August. Uh, this is a general reading, so you can watch three videos on my channel, your rising sign, your north node, and your birth sign, which is your sun sign. So I'm using my tarot deck, Lily Sky Tarot. And in this video, for the first time, happy, happy August. I am featuring my Lily Sky Oracle Chakra Card decks. So these are just the promo ones. So there's 21, 21 cards in here. 777 seven, seven equals 21. So seven of the cards will have um, the element, earth, air, fire, water, and I use ether. And then an emotion, right? Or um, the words associated with each of the particular chakras, like communication and what did I put on here, abundance, and then elements. I mentioned that elements. And then the other one would be stone, like the third eye. We have amethyst for one of them. And in the back, you can see I made big the ace of coins, and I'm selling that. And I think I'll, I'll take a picture of it and put it up. I'll put it up on, on the Facebook. On the Facebook. But I'm, it's in a local store in town, so I'll, I'll return it back. I just wanted to feature it in the video. So, okay. So let's see, Leo. What is your card for the month of August? And always contact me for your personal reading, as this is a general reading. Okay, for Leo's out there. Oh, time to make it a, a transition. Six of Swords. The Swords is an air element. Maybe you feel like you need to breathe, you need to change, you need to get away from an environment, a person, a situation. So this is the card of leaving, moving forward. Maybe you need a little getaway time. So that would be good. Yes, six of swords. So leaving a rough situation into a better situation. And sometimes it could be a spiritual, like cathartic, if you will, journey where you're shedding your, your, yourself, your experience, a, a, a way of thinking, uh, an idea. And it, it could also be physical, you know, like physically moving away from people that are toxic, energy draining people. So if this is your rising sign, this is also for you. If you're Leo rising, if you are Leo and this is your birth sign, this is also for you. So someone that is toxic and draining, it's time for you to move away from that person and get get a new a new place, a new surroundings, stress free, stress free. So when you know it's time to move forward, move forward. And usually Leos are really good at, at moving forward. If you have like if you're Leo with Cancer rising, then you might be you know more reluctant to stay in a situation that's not that um, healthy for you. If you're Leo and Leo, which is Leo, <laughs> Leo birth sign and Leo rising, you're not going to put up with anything. But I've met a, a double Leo, and maybe it's just on meeting them right, right then and there. They're pretty chill, you know, but it takes a lot to make up one's um, personality zodiac-wise, but Usually for Leos, they, they won't put up with nonsense for a long time. They have to really love you to put up with your nonsense. So if you have a Leo that's putting up with your nonsense, that's because they really love you. And don't take advantage of anyone loving you, especially Leos. <laughs> so let's see, Leo. You are in full transition, uh, moving forward, letting go of the past, making a clear way for yourself. And let's see what um, my chakra oracle cards have to say. So my first time doing this on the channel. So, all right, so the card. Oh, solar plexus fire. You're fire and you've got solar plexus fire. Check it out. Solar plexus fire. Yes. So this is the card for you, and it's reflecting the screen, too. That's funny. So solar plexus. So know your personal strength. This is perfect. Know your personal strength. 
what are you willing to put up with? It's time to move forward, okay? Six of Swords is saying, move forward. You're leaving the dark into the light, right? And then the solar plexus is the third chakra up, and it's fire element, and it is your power. It is, it is your battery. It's your, your fuel that will give you the motivation to move forward, to get a task accomplish a goal, okay, to stand up for yourself. I like to call it the fight or flight chakra. Should you fight or should you just run away for your safety? Which one serves you best in protecting yourself? So really making that choice, the solar, the solar plexus is no joke. So this is a strength move that you're doing, okay? This is a strength move. It's like your game of chess. You're like, okay, I've had enough. You're going to win. You're going to go for it. <laughs> You're going to make the right move. So whatever changes that you feel that you need to do right now, it is something that for some of you will, it will not at you for a while, I feel. And then for others, it will just happen, boom, out of the blue, and you needed to make that change. So by the time you make this video, some of you have already made that change. And for some of you watching this, I believe there's no time. And, uh, you know, if you need this message in the future, your higher self will definitely allow you to see this video in perfect timing. So whatever changes you're going through, um, allow grace to guide you and easy, peaceful, wonderful transition to all videos out there. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Look out for my... Uh, my podcast. <laughs> I was like, what was I going to say? Podcast. So look out for my podcast. I've been, I tried to set one up years ago and it was like too much on my plate. And for like four years now, my yoga students have been telling me, you have to have a podcast. I love your meditation. So I, <clears throat> I appreciate the love and uh, I will look into putting a podcast. I think I'll have too much fun on that. So, you know, talking, it'll be fun. All right. Thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you guys next time.